Buddy's dad uh, worked at Connor Steel, and he worked at Connor Steel at night. And in the daytime, he farmed. But at six years old, his dad decides to build some chicken houses. He puts Buddy on the roof with him. And Buddy asked lots and lots of questions. So they built chicken houses, and then following the chicken houses, they built a barn. And then after that, Buddy's daddy built a house for them, and word just started getting around that, you know, he would build, build them a house. By the time Buddy was a young teenager, he was the trim carpenter. He was so precise, so detailed, that he was, he was well on his way by that time. Wormans Comp was probably a big factor in us joining Birmingham. We didn't really know a lot about it, except that we could get a discount on our insurance. Well, it didn't take long for Buddy to realize that it was great, but we needed one in St. Clair County. I met Buddy for the first time when I was hired as the EO for the St. Clair County Home Builders Association. He was quite an interesting person, multi-talented, very multi-talented, but he, he gave me a lot of help because I knew nothing about the Home Building Association. Uh, the first time I met Buddy was in a PR committee, but I found out Buddy's passion for helping builders, um, helping the associations. Buddy was a great leader in that room, and he stayed a great leader in our state association for a long, long time. But he was always there, even when he was not president. He was behind the scenes pushing and prodding, and you need to do this, and we need to get dues, we need to do this, we need to get more out in the public. He was always there. And he worked very hard to keep it going. He did. Uh -huh. It was something near and dear to his heart. And he wanted it done professionally. You know, when I think of Buddy, he was um, quiet. He was a thinker, um, but he was a leader. He, um, he led people in, in, in different ways to me at St. Clair County. He ran that association for years and years, and he was real passionate about it. Um, he, he loved builders. He loved builders working together and helping each other. Um, so I see him as a very, um, a very good leader. We were going to have our annual banquet, and I usually arrange for a caterer. We usually had our meetings at a restaurant somewhere or other, so we had a meal and we had our meeting. But this time we wanted a banquet and we wanted, uh, wanted it catered. So I started, came up with a menu and started getting prices. And I'd give the price to Buddy. And at that time he was the president, I'd give the price to Buddy and he'd say, that costs too much. So, okay, I'll check with somebody else. So I'd get another price and give it to Buddy. That's still too much. And about the fourth time, I said, well, what are you going to do? You going to do it yourself? And he said, I think I will. And he did. Drove Becky crazy, but they stayed up all night. But we're living in a rental house, and the kitchen's about the size of a postage stamp, and now we are catering this meal. And the more Buddy cooks, the happier he gets. He was so happy. I found out then that that was restful for him to do those kind of things. And so basically, after that, I handed over the cooking to Buddy because he enjoyed it. I worked with him on community projects, <clears throat> and he was always there. Whatever you needed, he was there for it. Uh, and he always had, it, it amazed me at how many tools he had <laughs> <laughs> to help you get done whatever you needed to have, have completed. <laughs> But Buddy was a unique home builder. He would build a house himself. He had a crew of three or four guys, and he ran them. So he managed them every day. Um, he would do the plumbing. He would do the electrical. There's hardly anything that he didn't do in building a house. Buddy was just a, a natural advocate for the home building industry. He had his residential license. He had his general contractor's license. He was a master plumber, a master electrician, a member of the on-site wastewater board. Um, he held himself to a high standard and he wanted that for others. And he had a heart of gold. Oh, yes. He would, he would help anybody that needed help. Uh, he was always there. I mean, if you needed anything, just call him and he'd be there. I'm really excited to see Buddy get in the Hall of Fame. 
Uh, he's, he was very deserving of this award, and if he were here, he would be getting in the Hall of Fame today and be here to accept this award. Becky, he was a great leader for us. I know it took a lot of time away from y'all, but he was a great leader for us, and we thank you for sharing him with us. My buddy has been uh, missed uh, greatly uh, since his passing, but uh, he definitely deserves uh, this award. Uh, for all that he did for the home builders and uh, his reputation uh, of being such a great builder and professional builder, he always wanted it done right. I wouldn't say a perfectionist, but very close to being a perfectionist <laughs> about a lot of things. So I, he's thoroughly deserving of the honor. We definitely congratulate him. Buddy would be so in awe and so humbled that his peers had has even suggested that he could be a part of it, much less being inducted. He said, had such a great respect and admiration for every person that is part of the Hall of Fame. And it's such a great honor, and he would be so ever grateful for the opportunity. When I retired from baseball in 1989, my uh, brother-in-law, who was good friends with Jim Jones, uh, knew Buddy, Buddy Berry with Alabama Brick. And uh, I was looking for a job. I had some other jobs with Intergraph and stuff lined up, but um, he said, well, let me call Buddy and see if I can't get you an interview. So he called him, I went in for that interview, and it's funny because Buddy said, you know, I gotta get clearance from him, but the next day he picked me up and we rode around a week before Alabama Brick knew that I was actually an employee. My first interaction with Jimmy um, in, in the home building business is when Buddy Barry brought him over to one of my job sites, introduced me to him, and, and come to find out we'd already known each other. And, and of course, Buddy did great things for this industry too. And, and I knew that when, when he'd hired Jimmy that he'd got a keeper then. First time I met Jimmy is when obviously Buddy Barry brought him in to work with him at Alabama Brick. And uh, I'm sure it was either on a job site or at a local meeting that Buddy introduced us to Jimmy. Well, Jimmy's always been this go-to guy if I had a question um, concerning the masonry business. Um, he was always a, a resource. Well, he has that reputation that, you know, he's gonna do what he says he does and um, he'll, he'll make sure it gets done. Jimmy um, is always there whether it's the home show or fishing tournament, golf tournament, he's always there to help out, um, either with his company or just on his own. He's always there um, working long hours, uh, being on committees, just you name it, and Jimmy has done it for our association. Well, probably membership is the thing that comes to mind more, more than anything else. He's, he's, he's chaired our membership committees a bunch of different times, and. Um, I don't ever think he ever misses a, a retention calling. Um, uh, he's just always there for the members of this association. He's a big reason why we are now the number one association in the state. You know, there he came up through the Associates Council on the state level, Associates, and uh, been area VP. And just, you know, given his time and uh, his efforts to help the state. I honestly can't think of anybody more deserving than Jimmy Jones. He's just... Um, just awesome, and everything that he does is professional, um, and, and he never, never does anything without thinking how what he does or says impacts others. I feel like Jimmy deserves this award because of his dedication and hard work for the local association and the state association both. Even if it's not business, you can pick up the phone and 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 call him, and 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 it's just you know makes the home building family association family just feel that much more important to us. He's always upbeat. He's always positive. Um, he never has a, a crossword to say about anybody, and he always got this can-do attitude. Jimmy, I'd like to congratulate you very much on this wonderful honor, well-deserved, and uh, also congratulations on going into the California High School Baseball uh, Hall of Fame the same weekend. That's, that's pretty amazing. I don't think that's happened before. So again, congratulations, Jimmy, well-deserved. Welcome to the HBAA Hall of Fame. Well, Jimmy, um, old buddy, 
I can't think of anybody else I'd rather see get this award. You're definitely deserving, and, and um, it's long overdue. Congratulations. Well, congratulations to Jimmy. Uh, obviously, extremely well-deserved. Uh, we're just very proud of him uh, for achieving this and uh, for representing the uh, Huntsville-Madison County Builders Association and, of course, everything that he's done here locally and on the state level. Jimmy, congratulations on being inducted into the Home Builders Association Hall of Fame. We're so very proud of you and congratulate you. I can't think of anyone more deserving than you, my friend, and thank you for all that you've done for our association and for our great friendship. Congratulations, Jimmy Jones. Jimmy, you son of a bitch, congratulations. Couldn't happen to a better guy. I can remember when I first came to Huntsville and uh, met you and Buddy Barry, and, and uh, you were out there gathering members, and, and all of them went to Buddy. And you didn't care, you just kept on doing it. And uh, your selfless dedication to this association is, is admirable, and we really appreciate all you do, but truly appreciate your friendship. Congratulations. First, I thank my wife for letting me do all this stuff. And, uh, you know, getting involved locally, statewide. I thank everybody who's reached out. Thank all the committee members, and I, I know a lot of them. You know, and I'm good friends with all the associate people there, uh, past associate committee presidents, um, the membership people. I mean, it's just, it's just a, it's a good feeling. I think, um, you know, uh, the South for starting me in this business 34 years ago. Uh, I, I think the Pollards for starting me in Sand Mountain Brick and getting back into the industry. Family, friends. Um, the staff, the staff here, the staff at the state level. Without the staff in both places, we couldn't do as well as we do. Without them helping me along the way, I don't think I'd be sitting in this chair. You know, I thought it didn't get any better when I was inducted to the Hall of Fame here. And then knowing all the people, the special people who are inducted to the Hall of Fame at the state level. Uh, you know, I think, you know, I don't know, this is crazy, but uh, I'm going to be inducted in three Hall of Fames, you know, the state, the local, and then I'm going to California uh, Saturday the 6th of November to be inducted in the California. So, you know, things don't get any better. Everybody knows Lee around town, and first time I ever remember meeting him was at the post office probably 50 years ago. And uh, his comment to me that day was, I deal in junk, I'll buy anything if it's cheap enough. <laughs> well, so when they threw me out of the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, he got thrown out. He didn't get thrown out of Chamber of Commerce. They made him mad, and then he said, well, I gotta put my effort somewhere else. And so his next effort, luckily, was the home builders. All right, I, I first met Lee at a home builder meeting 30-something uh, years ago and been, been friends with him ever since. I think uh, being involved with HBAT along with, and HBA along with Lee, uh, Lee's shown me, he's, he, he's uh, every member's the same to him. There's nobody special or nobody, I mean, he treats everyone the same. and. He just, his love for the association is, is meant so. And I, I've done stuff with him professionally also. We've done several partnerships. Uh, I've bought property from him and uh, we just had a good relationship. Well, he's, I think he's taught me probably uh, to be honest and straight with people. And uh, uh, just been a very, very good friend. He used to come to my office every morning at three o'clock in the morning. He'd be at my office and I could, I could, uh, get all the news in Tuscaloosa from Lee because he knew more more what was going on in town than the local paper or the TV station knew. He go to he go to every bank in town every day, get all the all the news and I'll I'll say if if somebody died, Lee knew about it before the undertaker did. The characteristics of Lee are honest, fair, frugal, and funny. 
He's the most honest person I've ever met. And uh, he's probably somebody that, that most every man would like to be more like. He just tells it like it is, lets the chips fall where they may. And if you don't like it, that's, that's just tough on you because it, what somebody thinks of him doesn't bother Lee at all. I think Lee deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because there's no one I know that, that, that thinks of the association like he does, that breathes and, and sleeps and eats it every day. I think he deserves to go into the Home Builders Hall of Fame because of his loyalty to the home builders, always talking the home builders up, talking about what a great organization it was. I know he went to all of home builders meetings, uh, uh, state home builders, local home builders, and national home builders. I really think he likes to go to the home builders, uh, all the home builders um, places that we go to so he can go garage selling, don't you? Yeah. That's the real reason to go to these conventions. Yeah, I agree. Because every, every Saturday morning, he'd go get his cup of coffee and then go out garage selling. Yeah, we'd pick up Kelly and go. That's right. Or Kelly would pick us up and yeah. go. Yeah. Yard sales, which everybody knew, Lee went to yard sales. Every Saturday morning, he went to yard sales. He was coming in from a yard sale, and one of the gin players that played gin with him all the time was going through a divorce. And uh, Lee comes in, and the man that was, was, was a doctor looked at Lee and said, Lee, I like your shoes. I got a pair just like them. Lee said, not anymore. Just bought them from your ex-wife at the yard sale. So. A year, 15, 20 years ago, I was running five days a week, and we'd run out of the YMCA. Uh, four of us guys would get there about 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'd get our running clothes on, and while we were gone running for the hour or so we'd run, Lee would come in and swim, and he would be there when we got back. Well, this one particular guy I was running with was not a member, and I worked on him for about two months. And I, every day we'd run, you know, how you'd talk, and I'd say, you need to join, here's the benefits, and I'd just, a little bit along, every, for two months I'd done that. And after two months, we went running one day, and uh, uh, I asked him about joining, and he said, oh yeah, I joined yesterday. And I said, well, who signed you up? And he said, Lee Pate. And so I went back, to, we got back to the y, YMCA and Lee was there and I, I said, Lee, you stole my member. And he said, what does it matter? They joined, it doesn't matter. And that's not the first time that's happened over the years. He's gotten several from me and, it, and he is right. As long as they join, it's fine. I think he's got plenty of stories and I think we're both real appreciative of the Home Builders Association of, you know, giving back and taking care of us, and we give back, try as much as we can. I sure do offer my congratulations to Lee, well deserved. If there are anybody in the home builders that I know that deserves it, Lee Payton does. Uh, Lee, congratulations on your honor. Well deserved, proud of you, love you like a brother, and bring back the Sanderson Act. Here, but I would also like to thank my father here, not only being a mentor to me and uh, just a, a good friend. And I love you very much. And thank you for letting me have the opportunity to be in the in the family business. Um, you know, he's he's to be around him is always a pleasure. You never know. It's like the Navy. Those Navy slogans saying it's not a job, it's an adventure, because you never know when I walk through the door at work what I'm going to do. It could be working, helping the home builders, or we could be going to a garage sale, but you just never know. It's never been work to me. It's always been a pleasure and an honor to be, be with you Brother, all these years. Appreciate it. Well, Dad, how do you feel about being honored going into the Hall oh, of Fame? Oh, that's wonderful. Just wonderful. I was a banker uh, in Auburn and was asked to come interview for this job in a job that had not yet been filled or created. So in the early 80s, the legislature uh, created the Alabama Housing and Finance Authority. So the first few years, they went without any executive director. So Bob was the very first one. And of course, he's still the only one 
and uh, he's done an outstanding job. He was the first hire that they had had because prior to that, they would farm out the administration with banks uh, on contracts. When the board elected to hire staff and start to develop more programming, Bob was the man they chose, and I'm so thankful they did because he's done a super job and has grown that agency from a couple of people to over 150, and they're really, really doing well. His integrity is beyond reproach. Uh, he does everything the right way the first time. He's very innovative in all that he does uh, to provide excellent financing for the home builders and the home purchasers and the renters in the state of Alabama. The housing industry has been impacted by the activities of the Finance Authority in a number of ways. Back in the early days with mortgage revenue bonds, they offered below market interest rates that were substantially lower than conventional mortgages kept a lot of builders in business back in the mid to late 80s with that program. There, there's been nobody out there that has provided more safe, low and moderate uh, income housing that I know of than the Alabama Housing Finance Authority. And Bob led that charge 100% of the time. Bob uh, has been very involved with the association year in, year out. I don't think he's ever missed a, a board meeting, and he's always, uh, the Housing Finance Authority has always been a major sponsor. The Alabama Housing Finance Authority and the Home Bill Association of Alabama uh, are very good partners together. Bob's an unselfish person who has gone to bat for the housing industry at every opportunity that they could. I and mean, he leads a dynamic organization that's so well respected that other states come to Alabama to see how they operate instead of the other way around, which that's a great testament to Bob and, and the staff that he has. Uh, we were over in West Alabama uh, for a weekend hunting trip, and uh, we had a good hunt that day. We had our dinner, had our toddies. Well, it's time to go to bed, so we everybody went their different ways, and there was one room that had some bunk beds in it, and I ended in that room uh, in the bunk beds uh, with uh, two other guys, and one of them was Bob Strickland, and the other one was H.R. Terrio. So I lay down to go to sleep, and before I could, my head hit the pillow, they're both snoring, just as loud as you want to, can imagine. It sounded like two freight trains going in there. I couldn't go to sleep. The next week, I happened to be at uh, Piccadilly's Cafeteria uh, in Montgomery, and we're going down the line, and I see ahead of us, it's Bob Strickland and HR and Mike King and some other guys up there, and I see Bob across the room, and before I really thought about what I was saying, I said, Bob, I'm never gonna sleep with you again. And obviously everybody uh, kind of looked at me and I realized what I'd said, but it was too late, I'd already said it at that point. Most folks don't realize that Bob was in the hospital last year with COVID and it was fairly serious. Um, to be hospitalized says a lot, but I called him to see if, uh, I said, you know, you need anything? And can I sneak you some bourbon in there or maybe a book? And he said, man, I can't read a book. So I'm, I'm really having a hard time focusing. They said, I, I have brain fog. And I said, well, you've had brain fog for 20 years. And he uh, said a couple of harsh words toward me. And I said, see, you're feeling better already. I can tell by the tone in your voice. Bob, I just want to again congratulate you on being inducted into the Home Build Association Hall of Fame. Uh, I can't think of anybody that's more deserving than you. Uh, you've been a good friend of me. You've been a good friend of the association. And I wish you the best of luck in the years to come. Congratulations. Bob, congratulations. Uh, I don't know of anybody connected with this industry more deserving than you. I'm uh, proud for this moment for you and, and proud to call you my friend. Bob, we just want to tell you congratulations. Very proud of you. What an honor it is to induct you into the Hall of Fame tonight. Very proud. Bob, same here for me. You're a great person. I've enjoyed this last almost 20 years and uh, working with you at the Alabama Housing Finance Authority. You're a great person. Uh, appreciate all your hard work and effort. Uh, just good luck to you, and, and uh, just want to congratulate you on uh, being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Bob, I just wanted to tell you congratulations on being uh, inducted to the Hall of Fame and tell you what an honor it is to serve on your board and serve as our president to be able to induct you. Congrats. Well, I certainly didn't do this by myself. Um, and so, uh, my wife, Donna, I've got two children that grew up in this environment, Margaret and Tripp, and now their spouses and grandkids. So they've been very important and supportive of me. 
You know, I've got a staff of now some, oh, 155 or so people. I mean, you know, they, they really do a great job. My executive team is super. They are very supportive of me. But I, I would have to mention the smartest man I know, and that would be Dr. Gene Allred. I owe a lot to Dr. Allred, and he has, he's been uh, truly a superstar in my life. It's a, it's a high point in my life. I look down the list of all the folks that had been inducted into the Hall of Fame before, and I know names and, and, and reputations back to the beginning of it. And then throughout there, just a number of people that I am truly honored to be included, at least in a small part, with that group.